good morning or whatever time it is in your neck of the woods let me put out this incense it's way too crazy right now the wind is just taking over the whole entire thing there we go a really nice lady gave me some Palo Santo incense because I mentioned to her that I was having trouble finding Palo Santo on this island I went to the um, art night several times. No metaphysical um, plants or anything were present any of those times. I'm not sure I can call that um, a true art night. <laughs> what are we doing today? Good morning. Oh, good evening, Michelle. <laughs> what time is it in your neck of the woods? <laughs> good evening. Oh, I ran out of pink note cards. I have to use the plain white ones. Not as fun. All right, you guys, we're going to do the collective reading first. Make sure you watch it. That way you get new cards when you get your own personal reading. Because a lot of stuff's been repeating lately. Spirit's like, I want everyone to hear this. And then this person missed it, so they got to hear it. I got to read it again. Today is... What is today? Oh my gosh, October's almost over. It's the 29th already. Hmm. All right, let's get some tarot for the collective. Let me know what deck you would like to have. 11 o'clock at night. Oh, nice. You're way ahead of me. It's going to be tomorrow for you before it's tomorrow for me. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing a message for the collective for the collective at this time. Which one was first? Okay. Mercy, that was fast. You know, we've been, time is flying. Some days it feels like, I don't know, like some days it feels like I blink and it's gone. Other days, it, like this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or whatever, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, felt like a whole entire week in one day like it was so long and so much happened and so busy did you want that card you want it like that thank you holy spirit for allowing my voice to bring healing to those who hear it thank you highest holy angels ancestors of the highest white light thank you jesus for bringing the love for us to sit in today for our healing and transmuting i heard Oh yeah, Trans clearing and transmuting. Holy Spirit, thank you for helping me to clear and transmute any incidental negativities. And also thank you for returning to sender anything that's sent with purpose and ill intent. Times 111. We're right back at you the same day. Same day service, same day service. Anything else for the collective? That was funny because they flew all out at once and then... What's going on? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing the messages through for the one, the we, the all, the general collective. You want that upside down? that will bring, oh no, bring about the most healing and love for every one of us. Mercy, the energies are feeling kind of discombobulated and chaotic, actually. Come on, guys, take a deep breath. 
get grounded, take your shoes off, go stand in the grass, the dirt, the water. Call your power back to you. Cross your energies, like rub yourself from here down to the opposite hip three times. Try that. Do that right there. Do that and see how that makes you feel on the inside. I got goosebumps when I did it. I should have done it earlier. Ha! Our energies get all discombobulated. We gotta straighten them out sometimes. Mm. Oh, wow. Good job. That was fantastic. If you want it just like that, then. Okay. Uh-oh. We got some shadow work that needs done. Some cards are coming out upside down. Do, 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 do. We knew that was coming, though, right? How many did we get? Oh, good. We get ukulele. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey! Nine! First one out for the collective, the Explorer of Earth, and it is in the upright this time. Let's see what it's got to say about that in the book. Oh wow, I just saw the next card. When you get this card, the explorer of Earth experiences her spirituality in her body and in her relationship with the Earth. I'm pretty sure this came out for the collective last time I pulled tarot. Although she is very realistic and practical, she is also very intuitive. This is a time to connect to the great mystery, God or goddess, whatever you call your source, your creator. By spending time in nature, the explorer's spirituality is pragmatic, focused on the how of spiritual teachings rather than the why. She has made an art of green, sustainable living and has much to teach about the spiritual rewards of choosing simplicity. Follow her example and be cautious at this time with your money, spending it wisely and tracking its inflow and outgo. Repair and recycle what you can rather than making new purchases. This is a time for finding pleasure in the rewards of hard work, especially if you are doing what comes easily and naturally to you. She also reminds us that staying fit and eating a wholesome diet are the best kind of health care. The affirmation, I live within the bounty of nature. Let me make sure I write Michelle down. That's the first one up for a reading. Did you say what deck you want or did you want me to pick for you? Aisha! Awesome! So you're the chaotic energy that came in the room. Thank you for joining me, us. I'll put you down as second one in line for a personal. Let me know what deck you would like. Or if you guys want me to pick, just put some hearts. And I'll put a heart by your name. And I know to pick then. Our next card for the collective is number 18. Major Arcana, the moon on the shadow side. <sighs> I think I read this one yesterday for someone. It came out upside down. I'm going to hold it right side up. So you can look at the picture. This is the terrain of nightmares, phobias, anxieties, and illusions. Someone is resisting the idea of opening up to the psychic non-rational realms. A difficult emotional journey may be at hand. This may feel like a journey into darkness and may trigger a confrontation with your deepest fears. Remember that sometimes what we fear in the darkness may be revealed as harmless in the light of day. Ask for a reality check from trusted loved ones. Embrace your own shadow, for it is only when we love the most unlovable parts of ourselves that we can truly heal. The soul lesson themes, constant faithful changes, cycle of descent and return, intuition, dreams, psychic awakening, imagination, light and shadow, and journal questions to write down and ponder. How can I become more moon wise? Am I aware of what phase the moon is in right now without looking it up in a book or online? Do I know where the moon rises and sets on the horizon near my home and at what time? Which phase of the moon do I most identify with right now? Do I consider myself to be psychic or intuitive? Am I scared by the idea of receiving information from a sixth sense? Do I pay attention to my dreams? We're all keeping dream journals, right? Every morning, every morning, write down what you dreamed about. Fairy deck. The oracles? Okay. Michelle wants the oracles. Aisha. And then Carol. 
Let me know what deck you would like. I put, um, let's see, I put it in the discussion for this event. Let me put a comment with the names of the decks boop, 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 in there for you guys. And I will pin that sucker too. And that'll let you know which one to, which one you want. All right. The affirmation. I am in harmony with the waxing and waning of my emotions and intuition. Next is the Nine of Air on the shadow side. This one says, you may be allowing your grief to crush you or you may be unwilling to face your fears. You may be lost in depression. Only you can know when you are ready to heal and move on. Allow the sorrow that you have known to give you more empathy and compassion for others. Better, not bitter. Right, guys? We're trying to be better because of it, not bitter. Affirmation. I allow the mother to heal my sorrow as I open my heart in compassion to others. And then we got the ace of fire also in the shadow. We got to make sure we're doing the things. You, got, you know, when spirit says journal questions, really work on that stuff, you guys. So in the shadow side of this one, you're out of touch with your body or you are experiencing a lack of resources. You have trouble giving or receiving nourishment and you don't believe you can find the path between this world and the unseen. Your challenge is to find the strength within yourself to believe that good things can come your way. Affirmation, I take root in the physical world. So we're getting a lot of the same messages that we've already gotten for the collective. Ten of air in the shadow side is next. So it says... You may be resisting the progress of time and want to hold on to an endless summer. This is not the way of things as we all know. Surrendering to the natural flow will lead to the discovery of treasures that are only found during the seasons of cold and dark. The affirmation, I heed the inevitability of change and discover the gifts found in letting go. And then, dun dun dun, we got number 20, the awakening card in the upright. judgment card in traditional tarot you guys make sure you're listening to this uh collective reading because yesterday when i did the collective people were just dropping their name and leaving and then when they came back and got their personal reading they got the collective reading cards so please please listen to this part and then let's get your more specific information in yours let's not repeat the same messages that we should have already been listening to you become aware of a shift in your consciousness. In some way, you have woken up. Perhaps you have made a commitment to eating locally grown organic foods, or perhaps you've begun a new spiritual practice. You now perceive yourself to be part of the global community. You know that your choices and actions affect the entire web of life, and you live your life accordingly. As you continue to open yourself to the life of the Fabula, as you continue to open yourself up to the life of spirit, <laughs> your heart is filled with compassion and you begin to let go of the judgments and criticisms you have made in the past. To live in alignment with your deepest, most authentic self is not possible without the help of spiritual allies. This knowledge keeps us humble. You know your life has purpose and meaning, and this gives you deep joy and peace. Service to others may not have been part of your life in the past, but it is now. When you give your own unique gift to the world, the entire fabric of the planet is strengthened and enriched. Soul lesson themes, expanded consciousness, peace, personal awakening, mass awakening, birth of a new paradigm. Think globally, act locally. Liberation, awareness, mindfulness, rebirth, inner calling what you are meant to do with your life journal questions on this one it might be easier to write the journal questions down later when I um, share the link for the YouTube video because then it's time stamped with um, well with your personal readings but these I guess I might have to start time stamping these major arcanas what does it mean to be awakened how has my consciousness been raised what call of the spirit am I hearing how can I release my criticism and judgments of others? How can I be of service to others? What unique... Oh, my throat's doing the thing, you guys. This one's the most important one, I guess. <clears throat> what unique gift do I have to offer the world? Once again, what is your calling? What is your path? Why are you here? What is your joy, your purpose? Something that brings you joy that will bring others joy and love and healing. Affirmation, I awaken 
to the call of spirit. And then the very next card is the teacher, number five, in the upright. It may be a signal that a spiritual teacher will soon appear in your life, or you may be ready to become a teacher to others. It may be that this teacher will appear in disguise as the weeds that grow along the roadside or a heron feeding in the mud flats at low tide. The natural world around you has some of the most profound spiritual teachings you will ever encounter. Perhaps it is time to get to know your place on the earth in a more intimate manner. Do you know the names of native plants in your area and how the indigenous people use them? Do you know how to interpret the different calls and songs of the birds in your neighborhood? Do you know where the sun rises and sets on the horizon in summer and in winter? The teacher calls you to become intimately acquainted with the natural world and the place where you live as part of your spiritual practice. Soul lesson themes, teaching or guiding others, being taught or led. Guidance, belief systems, counseling, mentor. Spiritual link, priest, intercessor. Search for truth. Education, spiritual teachings outside of mainstream religious institutions. Tradition, a course of study, revealing the sacred to the light of day. Outer exoteric teachings and contrast to the priestess's inner esoteric teachings. Journal questions for this one. What do I have to teach? What do I have to learn? How connected am I to the place where I live? What wisdom can the green allies offer me? When have I experienced coyote teaching? What is the place of tradition in my life? Who is my current teacher? And last of all, what is my purpose? So it's very important that we look deep within and figure out our purpose right now. Affirmation, I receive my best spiritual teachings from nature. If you haven't already figured out who you're supposed to be, you gotta get on it. Ooh, next we got the five of earth. Mm -mm -mm. So you're dealing with stress on a survival level, mostly likely with your health or finances. You may, you may have lost your home or your job or are dealing with a life-threatening illness. Things may seem bleak indeed. What kind of shelter in the storm can you create that will help you through these rough times? What survival skills have you developed that you can use in times of crisis? The affirmation, I have the skills it takes to survive any crisis. And the last one for the collective is the two of water on the shadow side, which says you may feel deflated as if all of your joy is draining away. You may be experiencing unrequited or codependent love, or you may re realize a relationship is at an end. Perhaps you fear sharing your heart with another. Your... <sighs> My throat just did the thing. This is important. Your challenge is to keep your connection with divine love clear and open, even when other relationships are troubling. Affirmation. My heart is full and open as I recognize the divine in my beloved. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that fantastic nine card message for the collective. Let me stick these cards back in, and it will be Michelle's turn. And then I have Aisha, and then Carol, and then I will check and see who else has showed up. Yay! Thank you for being here, you guys. Thank you for watching the general collective reading, so that way we can get more specific details when it comes to your personal pull of cards. Let's see, Michelle is wanting the oracles. So... Oh, you guys. All right. First things first. We have... You're very welcome, Michelle. Thank you for being here. Who... Let's see. Aisha said I can pick. I'm going to put a little heart right there. Carol would be next, and um, and I'll, Carol, don't forget to comment what deck or let me know with some hearts that you want me to pick. After Carol is, dun, dun, dun. let's see. Is going on here. Cass 
Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. How are you doing? All right. Let me know what deck you would like. Okay, you want me to pick heart on your name. And timestamp for 10 for Michelle. I don't know if that number would have some significance for you. Let's see what the oracles have to say about your timeline's highest outcome. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing a message that will bring about the most love and healing for everyone in Michelle's timeline. You know all the names. Thank you, as always, for your divine protection and your guidance. Thank you for allowing my voice to bring healing to those who hear it. Thank you for allowing these messages to get to the right ears at the right time for the betterment of the entire planet. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. I think maybe. Oh, that was fast. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As soon as I stop paying attention. If Carol is still here, please comment. Let me know if you want me to pick your deck or if you want a certain deck. I put a pinned comment what the decks are you can choose from, which is also in the description on the event here. And in the discussion for the event, there's a picture of the different decks along with the, the description. The description's not in order of the picture, so read the box. Anything else for Michelle and everyone in that timeline to bring about the most possible healing and love? the highest good of everyone the one the we the all whoa no nope, we're not doing that that was like 20 cards let's try to get it down mmm the energies Saturday Saturday mm -hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, highest holy angels, ancestors of the <laughs> highest white light. Thank you to, oh, wow, gee, many Christmas, my spirit team. That was funny. That one got hung up in the steering wheel like that one card did the other day. You want this one? Okay. Anything else for Michelle and everyone in that timeline? Healing and love. Ooh. This one came out, and then these two came out. <sighs> you guys. Please be patient because everyone gets different amounts of cards. Spirit decides. So it depends on what is going on in that person's life. Just be grateful that you don't need as many messages as someone else gets if you get shorter readings. It's just how it is. It's not a competition. We're just trying to get to our highest, most lovingest path. Okay. Wow. Look at that little stack for Michelle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That 2010 was your timestamp, and you got ten cards. So your first card out is Bliss, Spirit of the Sand and Sea. And you guys, I am finding that if we do sit through someone else's reading and we listen to it, we maybe won't get as many repeat cards for the other person because we've already heard that message. It's been brought to your attention. And weird, there's a sparkly S in the floor of my car. Where did that come from? Bliss says, This image celebrates the spirit of play. We are called to take the hand of the child within and allow ourselves to sparkle with the sheer bliss of indulging in every delicious moment of happiness and joy. Do something today where you look at it and enjoy it from the perspective of a child. Let your rational adult guard down and truly express glee, joy, and being in the moment of this activity. Now, these are just like journal questions, these special messages. So jot it down. This is Michelle's. Jot it down, or if you want to later on, you can go back to your YouTube version where it's time stamped with yours and you can pause it and stuff. But this one says, you are taking life too seriously. Lighten up and allow more laughter into your life. Draw an imaginary line on the ground and tell your problems and concerns that you will address them in the most positive way, but they are not allowed to cross the line and sap your life energy. All right. 
Next we got Peace, Guardian of the Earth Rainbow. I gotta open my door, it's getting hot in here already. Oh good, that car left. I can pull forward a little bit. Give me just a second, Michelle, I'm gonna pull my car up. I went to the restroom and came back because someone was in the spot where I was in for the reading, so I had to get in the sun a little bit more than usual. Yes, dear, I know you want gas. Guess what? Probably not gonna get any today. Don't have it. Next card, peace, guardian of the earth, rainbow. This image celebrates humanity taking its place in the universe as peaceful, loving beings and responsible caretakers of our magnificent home, a planet we call Earth. Vow to yourself today to do your part as a peaceful, loving being. Choose to take the high road in all that you do. See yourself as an ambassador lifting the planet's vibration to a higher, peaceful place. A special message you are being inspired to take all your interactions you have with people to a higher level express peace and understanding to them inwardly before you even open your mouth to speak oh next we got nurture song of motherhood this is the mermaid mommy card I love this card it's so cute it says this image celebrates divine feminine energy of the nurturing mother it calls us to transcend our gender roles and embrace this nurturing aspect of Godhead in our interactions with all beings, be they human or of the animal kingdom. Be nurturing to your body and your inner child. Make a wellness appointment with your health practitioner. Start an exercise program. Feed your mind positive affirmations. Feed your body healthy food and be in gratitude for all that you are and for your precious life. The special message, you're overlooking an area in your life where you need to give yourself some tender loving care. You are being inspired to take a mental inventory to find this area in your body that needs special care and take care of it now. Do, 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 do. Strength is next. The Golden Planet is the name of the illustration. How is this resonating for you so far, Michelle? This image celebrates our connection to our ancient and current ancestors. It calls us to honor how they carry on through us and how we carry on through all who goes after us. And most importantly, how we are all one. Learn about the people in your family tree. Quietly sit and meditate on each of these people. Thank them for their part in bringing you to your physical vehicle, your heritage, and all the opportunities that are a part of that grand plan. Special message, you're being inspired to forgive a relative for a past hurt. The relative, oh, yep, my throat just did the thing on this one. This is important for you, Michelle. The relative may still be alive or have passed on. Regardless, call this person into your inner temple and have a heartfelt dialogue with them and forgive them. Remember to ask their forgiveness for your part in the situation and then give thanks. Mm. Enthusiasm is next. Bringing heaven to earth is the name of the illustration. Yes. We want to create heaven here, not hell. Let's do the positive manifestings, not the negatives. This image celebrates the outpouring of the divine creator's love saturating all of creation. It calls us to allow this energy to permeate us at every level and plane of existence. It is who we are. Allow yourself to sit for a moment and imagine yourself under a shower of divine energy and feel it washing over you, entering your mind, body, and spirit, permeating and washing you clean with the energy of divine forgiveness. Pull forth those negative things in yourself and hold them in your hands, dissolving them under the heavenly healing waters. Dissolve them, release them, and now give thanks. You got a lot of homework to do, Michelle. Special message, you are being soul work. You are being challenged to let go of a pet peeve that is causing a blockage in your energy flow. It is time to release it and be free. It may be even a mild irritation, but it is sapping your precious life force. Ooh, and next we got godliness. Mm. Dimensional overlap is the name of the illustration. 
which we have a lot of dimensional overlap right now being at the end of October, right? Lots and lots. The veil is thin. This image celebrates the acknowledgement of the magnificence of the soul, our higher aspect, our God selves. It calls us to step up to our divine heritage of being a son or daughter of the divine and living our life in that energy of the true beings that we are. Write down your major traits and focus on the few that truly make you the individual you are. Open yourself to the uniqueness the Creator blessed you with and request the guidance to use it for the betterment of yourself and humanity. Special message, you are being inspired to open your heart to yourself. Circumstances and challenges have left you not feeling good about yourself. Know that your true nature and being is of God and nothing can ever be big enough to cast a shadow on that. Walk in the truth that you are a child of the divine. We all are. Know it. Own it. Be that. Empowerment is next. <laughs> Peaceful Dreamer is the name of the illustration. And this one says, This image celebrates pushing through the limitations on boundaries we set for ourselves. It calls us to excel to new heights and go forward using new creative means we never thought possible for ourselves. Look at something about yourself that you feel is insignificant and meditate on the possibility of making this one of your strengths. Don't be afraid to stretch beyond your comfort zone. At times during the day, stop and visualize yourself expressing this area of your life from a place of divinely guided strength. Special message. You're being challenged by a feeling of unworthiness about something. You are being inspired to let go of that illusion and to celebrate your divinity and how the Creator wants only the best for you. Oh boy, did my are the comments working? Is everything okay out there, Michelle? How's this resonating? You got three more cards for Michelle. You guys pay attention to these, that way you won't have to have them in your reading. Creativity is next. Nectar of Divine Essence, the name of the illustration. Look at that third eye rising. Mm -hmm. This image celebrates that our creativity is truly divine. It calls us to step up to the plate and to be the creator that we were meant to be. Do something today that you normally would do in a mundane, habitual way and approach it from a truly new, creative, innovative way. Special message. You are in a rut about something and are being inspired to look at it with a fresh, creative approach when dealing with it. You had a message earlier about looking at things from a childlike perspective also. So then your next card is Archangel Gabriel, Messenger of God, Awaken. Thank you for being here, Highest Holy Angels. This image celebrates the calling we receive at once. What? This is part. This came up in the general too, you know. This image celebrates the calling we receive at one time or another in our life. It calls us to trust the divine plan by willingly and with great faith, walking this new path of challenge, knowing our triumph is assured, like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Take a stand and make a commitment to dispel the negativity from an area of your body that holds darkness. Recall a bad circumstance that you've had and get in touch with your body. Where does the feeling settle when you think about the incident? Send that area light and joyfully detach from it and turn it over to the divine to heal. Special message. Choose the high road for a challenge you are currently facing or will face. Know that there is plenty of help for you. The creator and the legions of angels and higher beings await your request for assistance. Yes, Michelle, we have to ask for help or they won't. They can't. We have free will, so they can't just jump in and save our butts. We have to ask them to save our butts. You're... <coughs> Before I could even say it, my throat closed down. Your last card is the Life Force card. For me, this is the card of conception. I don't know what. Conception. Could be a new idea. Could be a new kid. So, Life Force. Beginnings is the name of the illustration. And it says... Bum, 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 bum. This image celebrates the life force within a seed and also tells us to look at our thoughts as seeds. It calls us to acknowledge this powerful force that births new life into being as the old falls away. Be mindful of your thoughts. Release an old issue that has burdened or threatened you. The old seed pod or situation must fall away so that the new can come into being. 
Embrace good change in order to receive the positive outcome that already awaits you. Special message. Necessary change and transformation are lining up in your life. You are being inspired to release the past and all that is keeping you tethered to this situation that is falling away. Break free and be free. Well, hopefully it will help you with your path to get you on the most happiness, the most love timeline. Thank you for being here, Michelle. Ooh, the energy on that reading was something else. Something else. All right, next is Aisha, who said, I get to pick. You know, I don't get to pick, right? It's just spirit telling me what to do all the time. Bossing me around. All right, let me make sure no one else has come in, you guys, because I think my comments were broken for a minute, which I have to like, and then it opens them back up. Nobody new has come in. Don't forget to comment, you guys. If you are having trouble commenting, could you hit the hearts like right now while I'm looking at the screen and let me know? Because I see some people. I see some people that are um, watching, but they didn't comment yet. I have less comments than I do people watching. According to Facebook, they could be fibbing. Who knows? All right, for Aisha, what do we want to use? Timestamp. Oops. Timestamp. <laughs> 3652. Mm, with my numerology, that's a 9 7. Nines and sevens are good. Good, good, good in my book. Let's do tarot for Aisha since my hand automatically reached up and grabbed the book. Ha! Huh? See what I mean? I don't pick. Jackie's here. There's Jackie. Jackie, you'll be after Kathleen. Let me know what deck you would like for today. Margaret. Welcome to the shoe, Margaret. Let's see. Do I have two Kathleen's today or is it just, yeah, it's just one. Okay, good. Let's see. We got Aisha now and then Carol. And then if Carol is still here, because Carol never did tell me a deck. Did you, Carol? Mm -mm. And... You're still here, it says. Hey, Facebook is working. My things are working. Margaret will be after Jackie. So we're doing Aisha and then Carol, Kathleen, Jackie, Margaret. Let me know what deck you would like or if you want me to pick. Jackie said oracles. Jackie, oh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Thank you, Holy. Wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing out these. Wow messages for the highest good of Aisha and everyone in that timeline you know all the names thank you for bringing something that will help bring about the timeline with the most love and healing for everyone involved oh yep I feel the chaos you know I feel it I send you healing let's send you a whole bunch of clearing and transmuting energy Let's try to get you feeling all peaceful and calm. I've, I got I got goosebumps on my shins. That's crazy. Aisha's timeline. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing out whatever will bring about the best possible outcome for everyone. The one, the all, the we, and Aisha's. Yee, look at that. Look how that landed. <laughs> Mercy. Yep. You definitely need some advice today. The energies are crazy. Hey, were you watching when I... Oh, no, you got one of the cards from the General Collective. Maybe you missed that part. Um, were you watching when I told the General Collective how to... Um, get your energies realigned within your trunk, your core. And that is to go from one shoulder to the opposite hip. Rub your hand down through there and feel it. It's realigning your energies. It gives me goosebumps when I do it. Do it with both sides. 
And if you have someone around who is willing to do it for you, you can have them do it on your back and it feels good when you don't have to do it yourself. You can actually concentrate on just feeling the energies realign and it's really cool. Anyway, don't forget to drink your water. That will help you more than anything in integrating the good energies and releasing the negatives. Lots and lots of water. Drink your water. Clean water. Fresh blousers. Good water. Is this one really upside down or is it supposed to be like that? That's what I thought. Thank you. Are you sure you get a good message? You got a big message. We we got a big message in your timeline. You know we're all one, right? Hmm? Me and you and them, we're all the same thing. With the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. Just sparks of the same flame of God. Let's see what you got. Wowzers. Look at that, Aisha. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, oh no. Okay, so were you watching the um, General Collective the whole time? Because you got the Ace of Earth and the Reverse as your first card, which is a repeat card from the General Collective. You might have missed part of it. Make sure you guys go back and watch the General Collective after this. If you joined me like halfway through or whatever, watch it, Spirit said. Like, that's, that's important. And then, when you have your personal readings, you won't have the same repeat cards that way. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, all time is now. You guys know that, right? All time is now. So, whatever you do right now is going to affect this reading. And whatever you do in 20 minutes is going to affect this reading. And whatever you're going to do in an hour is going to affect this reading. So, if you don't go back and do the journal questions or you don't watch the general collective we're going to see the same cards coming out over and over because you're not getting the message in another way. So I have to bring it to you when it's your direct personal turn. Just saying. Spirit saying. <laughs> On the shadow side, you're out of touch with your body or you're experiencing a lack of resources. You may have trouble giving or receiving nourishment and you don't believe you can find the path between this world and the unseen. Your challenge is to find the strength within yourself to believe that good things can come your way. Affirmation, I take root in the physical world. Now, this is the one. This is, my, this is the card. Like, this is reminding us about how we can do our manifestation journal. One section of your notebook should be for your manifestations. And that's where you write down whatever situation is at hand. Write down the most positive, highest outcome for everyone involved. Write it down picture it close your eyes picture that feel it let it flow through you those feelings in your heart and then be grateful for them let it go let God show it to you God will bring it to you ah good yeah so I guess maybe they just wanted to punctuate that one for you to make sure that you understood that that was definitely your message child of earth on the reverse is next so let's see what the shadow side of this child says boop -bitty -boo. All right. This is a cute picture. I used to have a rabbit look just like that. His name was Clyde. He was supposed to be a mini lop, like a handful of bunny rabbit. A sucker got up to 14 pounds. He's bigger than some dogs. But he was awesome. All right. Shadow side of this. Someone may be too attached to possessions and might be valuing others by how much they earn. He may have an unhealthy lifestyle and is resistant to change. He may prefer to stay indoors and let the natural world pass him by. It's time to start fresh and begin a new relationship with the material world. The affirmation, I find my center when I connect to my body and the natural world. Keep in mind the gender isn't really a, the gender of whoever this could be talking about. And this could be talking about you, could be talking about your friends, your family, your lover, your neighbor, the guy you're going to see at the supermarket tomorrow and you need to remember something to be present in that conversation. You just never know. Ten of Earth came out next in the upright, which says, Something you thought had ended in your life is beginning to burst forth with new shoots. Perhaps it is the wisdom of your parents and your ancestors that you pass along to those who come after you. It may also be that the long journey to see your work succeed is finally paying off. What do you consider to be great wealth? It has been said that what we have done for ourselves alone dies with us. But what we have done for others remains. In what ways does your work support and sustain others? The affirmation, I know that my life's work will benefit the coming generations. Yes. 
Guardian of Water is next on the shadow side. Which says... Oh, shadow side is on this page. I love this picture. It reminds me of this place so much. On the shadow side, there may be difficulty when the personal troubles of one person spill into the lives of those around them. Be wary of people or situations that are overly needy or draining. So, uh, uh, this is important for you. <clears throat> Someone may be moody, self-indulgent, or impractical. <laughs> Someone you know. <laughs> Instead of wallowing in emotions, seek the patient cleansing, forgiving powers of water so that emotional balance may be restored. Affirmation. I trust the waters of love and compassion flowing from my heart. Oh, wow. And then you got the child of water also in the shadow side. This came out in yesterday's collective. Maybe it was. Hey, you guys, make sure you check every day for the general collective reading. Put your notifications on on the Facebook so it will notify you when I go live. Because almost every day I'm doing a live with the general collective. Sometimes it's a paid event because spirit is um, trying to get to where I can actually buy gas for my car but nobody shows up to those but we still need to get these messages out so uh, it'll always be posted later on YouTube always always and I will put the links always always please watch so the shadow side of this child of water says someone may be overly sensitive or lost in a fantasy life she could be disappointed by love or afraid of opening up her heart. She may have been deeply wounded as a child. If so, she is being nudged to find help and move into a place of healing. Once again, she, she, they. Affirmation, I imagine a life filled with love, art, and spirituality. Oh, yep, this is from the collective yesterday. Nine of Earth came out next. and But this is on the shadow side. It says, you may not yet have experienced peace and plenty. And you may not yet have found your heart's home. You may be restless and unsatisfied even if you have an abundant lifestyle. Could, <coughs> throat thing. <coughs> Whoa. Consider what you need to be truly secure and prosperous. Then recognize how much you already have. Affirmation, I am grateful for the place I call home. Wow, next you got the teacher on the shadow side. The collective got the teacher upright. Let's see what this says. So the journal questions and everything else will be the same. Did you see me read the teacher? Aisha? Let's see. This is the Hierophant, by the way, you guys, in traditional tarot, if, if, if this was traditional. Which I'm nothing but, I'm anything but traditional. So on the shadows... <laughs> what? <coughs> what in the world? Okay, clearing and transmuting <clears throat> that. Let's go. Mm. The Gremlins drank my coffee again, you guys. All right. Did I not buy any cold coffee? Yeah. What was I thinking? Obviously, I was not thinking. All I have is this room temperature leftover coffee. Oh, good. So I'm just going to read you the shadow part of it. And then um, I'll tag you with the um, journal questions and the YouTube video. <clears throat> this is very important for you. It's trying to, like, really put a giant squeeze on my throat box. <laughs> Thank you for clearing that spirit. I drank coffee for the protection, you know. It's medicinal. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, oh my word. Okay, so a lot of the general collective was probably for you. It will probably resonate for you because you, next is the five of earth in the upright, which we also got then on that one. So on the shadow side, it says, someone's belief system is inflexible with no room for questioning or movement. Take a look at how oppressive religious structures, rigid church doctrine, or 
questionable guru figures, including those in the personal growth movement. Speaking of questionable gurus, you guys, if someone comments on your comment and tells you to send them a friend request, that's not me. That's a spam, scam, uh, p person trying to take advantage of you. You're not going to get the connection from God that I have from that person. So when you leave this reading to go follow, to go to them and send them a friend request, you're hurting yourself. You're missing out. Mm. There could be a problem when someone is disconnected from the natural world and ignoring the blessings to be found there. Perhaps a call to share wisdom with the world is being ignored. And then you got the five of earth. You feel drained a lot by other people. So what you need to do is um, surround yourself in a titanium shield. That's what I do. Like I, for the intents of these readings, I have to be open so I can figure out what's going on. I have to be an open channel. But in your everyday life, go into the store, go into the library, whatever. Before you start your day in the morning, picture yourself surrounded by an invisible titanium bubble. Titanium is the strongest thing I know about. This thing will shield you from anything bad, but it does let the love leak through. The love comes through, but any negativity is just bounced right back off and goes right back who sent it or right back into wherever so it does not affect you. If you need to expand your bubble out to 10 feet, do that. It depends on how sensitive you are that day. And when you feel drained, me time. Take the time to be by yourself to recalibrate, get your energies back in check. Call your power back to you. I put it on the um, cover photo for my page now. Use that mantra. I use it every day. I call my power back to me. I pull out by the root all cords of energy to people, places, and things not serving the highest me. Like, you have to do these things. We have to protect our energies. So, the Five of Earth was your next card, which is this card. Do you remember hearing that one? It says... You're dealing with stress on a survival level, mostly likely with your health or finances. You may have lost your home or your job or are dealing with a life-threatening illness. <sighs> Things may seem bleak. What kind of shelter in the storm can you create that will help you through? The affirmation, I have the skills it takes to survive any crisis. The next card is the two of earth and the upright. And this one says... You are balancing more than one thing at a time and adapting to a potentially chaotic situation. Your responsibilities may weigh heavily on you, or you may be handling them with grace. We tend to pride ourselves on how well we multitask, but it often comes at the price of losing our focus. Perhaps it's time to consider doing one thing at a time for a change. Affirmation, I stay centered in the midst of many demands on my time and attention. And last, you got the seeker. Zero card. Woo, the new beginnings. Huh? Okay. You're starting a new journey with beginner's mind. It's time to hit the road either metaphorically, either metaphorically or literally. Every time you set out on a journey, whether it's a one-day hike or a new career, you embark on a spiritual journey as well. Be open to all the twists and curves in the road ahead. Be ready for wonderful surprises. Keep your heart open and maintain an attitude of innocence, trust, and spontaneity. Remember that many innovators, creators, and explorers were considered foolish by the conventional wisdom of their time. This card, the other day when I was reading it to the collective, when I got to that sentence about the, how people who are doing the things like I'm doing, the innovators, the people who are doing the thing that's not norm, the norm, get persecuted or whatever, the phone literally got... I heard the thing, like someone squeezed the things to let it out of its holder and it fell to the ground. Dare to take a risk before you is a brand new adventure. The chance for a fresh start and endless possibilities. Soul lesson theme, spiritual quest. Psst. Innocence, childlike wonder. Let me see here. Pilgrimage, a new beginning. Simplicity, spontaneity, adventure, taking a risk, the wisdom of the full, alpha and omega. And then you have journal questions. What journey do I begin today? How can I cultivate beginner's mind? 
How can I be more childlike? Have I lost my sense of wonder? How can I reconnect with it? Where or how in my life do I feel foolish? Is this my perception or the judgment of others? Where or how do I need to lighten up? Whew. What grand adventure would I like to have? Where do I need to take a risk? What is shape shifting or changing shape in my life? What am I carrying in my bundle? See that little tiny bundle she's got? Like it's barely anything. Maybe a toothbrush. I'm assuming there's a coffee cup in there. <laughs> uh, is my baggage light or is it heavy? How can I simplify my life? Affirmation, I make my life a walking prayer. That was a fantastic reading, Aisha. I'm sending you all kinds of extra healing and love and hugs to get you through, help you clear and transmute that stuff a little easier and faster for the highest good of all. I just heard, may all beings be blessed. Sending you blessings of the highest order. All right. Carol's turn. I don't have a heart by Carol's name or an O or a T or anything. Let's see. Um, thank you for being here, Aisha. Hopefully that helps you in some way and gets you on the path to your happiest self. Well, then you've got a tea, a tea cup in your bundle. For me, it's coffee. I mean, tea's okay, but coffee is the thing. <laughs> Let's see. Carol, Carol, Carol. Oracles. Yay. Okay. Timestamp for Carol. Did anybody else new come in while I was reading? Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. I have Carol next right now, and then Kathleen, and then Jackie. And then Margaret. Margaret, did you let me know what deck you would like? Oh, you're welcome, Jackie. Okay, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I forgot to do the timestamp. 5722. Oh my gosh, that's 1222. You know what 1222 is, Carol? My birthday. Da 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 da. My mind is constantly on the numbers. Always has been. That's why I used to do payroll. That's why I got stressed out. That's why I almost pulled out all my hair. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Wasn't that bad. Carol! Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing a message for Carol at this time. For the... <laughs> it's funny, your name is Carol. I thought of my... I thought of a... I, there's a Carol in my life who I just adored her and I haven't seen her since I was a teenager probably or maybe in my 20s I saw her or something once or something but she fell out of my life when I was still a teenager <laughs> thank you Holy Spirit for bringing about messages for Carol and everyone in that timeline's highest possible healing and the most amount of love to show up for the all the one and wow mm hmm mm hmm Mm -hmm. Oh, the energies. Can you guys see I'm starting to glow profusely again? Pardon me while I sop it up. Gee, Merry Christmas. Whew. Glowy. All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing out whatever Carol and Carol's timeline needs to... Boy, my cards just went there. Carol and Carol's timeline. Everyone, you know the names. You know what everybody wants. You know the questions at hand, the issues at stake. Let's do it. <laughs> well, someone outside. I'll be right back. So, <laughs> I gotta shut my door apparently. Oh, it's getting so hot in here. This energy is killing me see here all right wow you've got look you've got quite a few cards already i'm not even gonna let you see what they are because i can't see what they are so it's a surprise when we pull them <sighs> woof huh 
Hi, Ronald. Well, welcome to the show. How you get a reading is you comment and let me know what deck you'd like. I have a pen. Yours is 1220. Your birthday, Carol, is 1220. Mine's 1222. That's fantastic. Don't you hate having your birthday right with Christmas? Did your mom make you pick a Christmas present you could open on your birthday? <laughs> and it was wrapped in Christmas paper. Okay, so Ronald will be after Margaret. So we have Carol right now. And then we're going to do Kathleen, Jackie, Margaret, and Ronald. All right. Thank you guys for being patient while other people get their messages from Spirit. Pay attention because it might be something that will end up coming out in your reading if you don't pay attention. Let's see how many Carol got. That's quite a pile, you guys. Look at this. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 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 First one is inspiration. Night school is the name of the illustration. Ooh, I'm roasting. This image celebrates learning, growing, and opening to finding our highest potential. It is honoring our gifts, no matter how small or large we perceive them to be. Today, decide to learn about something that you've always wanted to know about, but never wanted to invest the time to do it. Share the information you learned with a friend. Do this in the spirit of gratitude for our incredible brains, talents, and ability to learn. The special message. There is an issue, situation, or person you may be closed-minded about. You are being inspired to talk with them on the inner planes. Have a conversation with them and tell them how you feel and why you're closed-minded. Allow and listen while you hear them speak. Here is in quotation marks. Ask for the highest outcome and for the good of all concerned. And next is motivation. We passed it, didn't I? The Littlest Gull Rider is the name of the illustration. This image celebrates one before. It calls us to bravely and intentionally choose to navigate in uncharted but extremely promising waters of a well-lived life. Start a new project, but make sure it's one that pushes your comfort zone. Choose one that you would like to do but always seem to have an excuse not to do. Carol? Is there something you've been procrastinating? Your first two cards are kind of calling you out. Just saying. Ah. <laughs> Go for it. Take it one step at a time. The universe is there to support you. Can you see the picture at all? It's kind of terrible. Good focus. The special message, you're being inspired to break free. You are in a stagnant rut and need to let go of something in order to push through the energy blockage that is holding you there. It starts with the intention to be free. Ooh. Next, we got impeccability. Impeccability is important, you know. So, Mind Like an Ocean is the name of the illustration. This one is... this. I'm, oh. You guys can't even see how magnificent these cards really are. I'm telling you, like, it doesn't show them well, the Facebook camera. But it says, this image celebrates the alignment of our mind with the mind of the creator. Ooh, yeah, this is, this is kind of referring to the concepts that are discussed in the Science of Mind and Spirit by Ernest Holmes. It's a book you can download on Google. I mean, or on any search engine. <laughs> It calls us to open ourselves to the divinity, allowing Godhead to wash through us like the gentle waves of the ocean, cleansing and dissolving all that is not in our highest order. Release the past. See these old issues as sandcastles on a beach. Each purifying wave of divine energy washing in is dissolving and removing more and more of the sand building until it's all gone. You are now free. Give thanks. A special message, you're being inspired to release your need to control an issue, person, or situation in your life. All is well. Release and allow. Set it free, and it will set you free. It is all in divine order. 
Is this resonating for you, Carol? What <laughs> Jackie said, how to donate. Um, in the description on this video, it links my um, PayPal and stuff like that. I can put it in a comment, I think. I think, I think, I think. Here we go. And then, I'll go ahead and pin that in case anyone else has that question. So, loyalty is the next card. Donations are greatly appreciated, you guys. My truck has been on the light with the gas tank since yesterday. And you know I ran out of gas the other day and got stuck. So, time travelers is the name of this illustration. Loyalty. This image celebrates the bond of family and friendship through thick and thin. It calls us to honor and show these people our appreciation and gratitude. Ooh, I just got goosebumps on my head. That was weird. It calls us to honor and show these people our appreciation and gratitude, even if it is in the form of a loving prayer sent from the heart. Do something special for a friend or a family member. Make it a surprise or let it be anonymous. The most important part is that it is done with pure loving energy from your heart. Special message. A situation needs to be made right in your family, close circle of friends, or with a certain person. Go within and ask for guidance for the highest and best resolve. Act on the inspiration you get and return the situation to the divine harmony it really is. Wow. What a reading, Carol. Spirit was waiting for you to ask for advice, apparently, because there's a lot of advice. Truth is next. This, Im oh, coming to earth is the name of the illustration. This image celebrates our spiritual and universal heritage and our ability to know this. It calls us to walk in the truth that we are multidimensional beings that came from spirit and will go back to spirit, but also... Even though we are currently physical, we are still in spirit even now. Right now. Right now. Every few hours during the day, stop and reflect on all living things that are around you. Give respect in knowing that all is of the divine. Everything contains the creator's energy that holds every atom in the whole universe in pure working perfection. Special message. You are being inspired to know that God is all and all is God. We are in the eternal moment of now. Now is what we have. Now is divine. Mm. Ooh, you got transformation. Next. It's the very page before. Visions of Star Dolphin is the name of the illustration. This image celebrates the transformational journey of our lives, the uniqueness and individuality we all have. Our paths are different but ultimately lead to the knowing that we are all one. Take an inventory of your gifts, talents, hobbies, and all that you love to do. Commit to choosing one and creatively expand on it to become a positive contributing factor for you and others. See it along the lines of part-time self-employment, opportunities for volunteering, or just to bring a little bit more joy into your life. Special message, you are being inspired to honor and be grateful for the many gifts and talents the divine has given you. No matter how big or how little you perceive them to be. They are there. Find them and be joyously grateful for them. Oh, this energy though. Wowzers. Big time energies, you guys. Mm. It's making me hot. I don't know if you guys can see how shiny I am, but I'm pretty freaking shiny today with the sweat. I mean, the glowing. Thank you for asking, Ronald. That's really nice of you. Um, next, peace, guardian of the earth rainbow. This image celebrates humanity taking its place in the universe as peaceful, loving beings and responsible caretakers of our magnificent home, a planet we call earth. Vow to yourself today to do your part as a peaceful, loving being. Choose to take the high road in all that you do. See yourself as an ambassador, lifting the planet's vibration to a higher peaceful place. Special message, you're being inspired to take all your interactions you have with people to a higher level. Express peace and understanding to them inwardly before you even open your mouth to speak. 
Oh, and next you got love. The fifth element is love. Love is all there is. We are love. We come from love. Your creator, love. This image celebrates that of all there is, earth, wind, fire, and water, love is all there is. We are called to recognize the love that is in all of creation. Decide today that you will look to find love in all that you encounter, no matter how impossible that seems. <laughs> look for the blessing in all situations. That means let it make you better, not bitter, whatever it might be. Special message, you're being inspired to bring love into places, situations, and relationships that seem to have no love. Drop your ego, step aside, and allow the love to flow through you like a river of divine light. You are a vessel of the divine. Yes. Belief is next. Point between reality is the name of the illustration. This image celebrates the optimistic spirit that seeks to find that ray of hope in this moment of now, no matter how grave a situation may seem. Ooh, Carol, what are you going through? Are you going through some stuff? Let's see. Belief. This image celebrates. Oh, yeah, that. I already said that. It calls us to grip and hold on to complete faith, knowing that the answer is there and it will be revealed to us in perfect divine timing. Spend a moment today and quiet your mind. Go to your inner temple and ask the creator to reveal to you something that is very special to you. Wait patiently to know what it is. Even if this first insight isn't up to your expectations, trust it, first of all. Hold it in your heart, honor it, and be in total gratitude. The full impact of its worth will reveal itself to you over the next few days. Special message. You're being inspired to take a challenge you now face and write down or journal the positive outcome of what you would like to see happen. Feel how good that will feel and keep that feeling in your heart for as long as possible. Give thanks for that positive resolution as if it has taken place already. I brought this up this morning. Our gratitude journals as part of our entire journal where we do our journal questions and our dream journaling. Mm. manifesting dreaming gratitude journal healing is your next card Archangel Raphael <clears throat> throat this is important this image celebrates our body's ability to follow its divine blueprint to heal and make itself whole it calls us to step aside and allow the divine to flood us with healing waters on a minute-to-minute -minute basis so each cell in our body is as new and purer as the Creator intended. Focus on a different organ in your body for a week. Seek information about each organ to understand and marvel at how magnificent your body is. Flood each organ with gratitude, love, and appreciation for all that it does. Stay in that frame of mind for as long as you can. This one came out in the General Collective this week too. Special message. Your body wants you to pay more attention to it. You're being inspired to tune into its signals and address where you are being guided to give a little bit more care to that area. It is your earthly vehicle. Take care of it. Whew. Okay, you got two more cards. Empowerment. Peaceful Dreamer is next. This image celebrates pushing through the limitations and boundaries we set for ourselves. It calls us to excel to new heights and go forward using new creative means we never thought possible for ourselves. Look at something about yourself that you feel is insignificant and meditate on the possibility of making this one of your strengths. Don't be afraid to stretch beyond your comfort zone. At times during the day, stop and visualize yourself expressing this area of your life from a place of divinely guided strength. The special message, you are being challenged by a feeling of unworthiness about something. Did you hear the car alarm going off? This is important. Oh, loss of your husband. I'm so sorry, Carol. <sighs> That's awful. I'm sending you love and hugs and healing. The special message. Okay, you're being inspired to let go of the illusion and to celebrate your divinity and how the creator wants only the best for you. You are a being of light and fire as well as flesh and bone. And your husband is with you. Joy is next. H-I-J. Joy. Joy, joy, joy. This image. Reflections in consciousness is the name of the illustration. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
Oh no, the Wi-Fi fell off. Son of a...